Google Search Console index coverage. Duplicate page without canonical tag. What does this mean? In this video session, we're going to find out exactly what this means. In my examples, as in your example, simply press on the URL. You can fetch as Google. Because ideally, when you fetch as Google, if you're seeing something like redirected, and that should give you a cue in terms of, you know what? Google is seeing a URL on your site that is being redirected. So that could be causing duplicate page without canonical tag issue. So first, let me show you what that canonical tag looks like. A landing page in the source code of it can serve a link within the head portion of HTML. And link rel equals double quote canonical and the path to the URL tells Google, OK Google, this URL and the contents within it is the originating source. That's what canonical tags are, and you should definitely use it because it avoids duplicate content issues. That means a particular URL can be requested by different means. It could be having forward slash, or perhaps another one on your site, maybe having no forward slash. It could be the case that you have updated from HTTP to HTTPS version. Let me switch the tabs so that you can see the difference. That's HTTPS, that's HTTP. Well, as far as Google is concerned, these are completely different URLs. So therefore, if it can see this one version, and then it can also see the same URL with a different version, and yet one of them serves canonical tag, link, canonical link, and the other one doesn't, that means index coverage, duplicate page without canonical tag has been detected. If these are for PDFs, PDF documents that you're seeing, you can basically ignore them, because PDFs cannot have canonical per se, because it's a PDF document, there is no source code for me to place link canonical. Now, what if index coverage duplicate page without canonical tag is shown to your site? And let's imagine you move from HTTP to HTTPS. What's the best way to remedy that? Simply log into your web hosting account, go to File Manager. And in fact, if you are not advanced in terms of maintaining your website, you can read the help section for your web server. Because when you go to File Manager, go to Document Root for your website, show hidden files as well, then you'll have access to .htaccess file. You can right-click and download, so you have a backup. Then you can right-click, press on Edit. If it's HTTPS issue, or if it's www versus non-www issue, what you need to do is you need to serve only the one version to Google. Because that's the best practice. That means your website when requested. Let's imagine this scenario. It's HTTP version. Let me request this page to see what happens. It should be redirected to HTTPS. So then Google will not see duplicate canonical tag. But Let's imagine we remove the dub 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 version as well. Let's do that. Let's copy this URL, open it up in a new tab, and fetch it. That should redirect to the correct version as well. Thus, we avoid index coverage, duplicate page without canonical tag issues. Okay? So these are the common scenarios. Common scenarios is that sometimes the website owner has
has not tweaked their website according to Google guidelines. Google guidelines suggest to you to have only one version and also use canonical tags. So if your site can be accessed through many different URL patterns, then Search Console is your friend and it's going to show you duplicate page without canonical tag warnings. Keep in mind, if it's all known pages, PDFs, you can ignore them, but if it's pages or posts or products, as in the sitemaps you've submitted, has duplicate page without canonical tag, then you need to remedy them. At the end of the day, this is what duplicate page without canonical tag means. Once again, Rank Your YouTube channel maintains Google Search Console full course. I thank you very much for learning with me. If you benefited from this video session, please do give it a like and share it, because that helps Rank Your to continue making great resources available to website owners such as yourself. And I'll talk with you in the next video session.